So yesterday I shared a tweet. Um, you think God can't use you? Um, if God can use a prostitute like Rahab in the Bible, then he can use you. Um, a lot of times God will will ask us to do things that we know that we can't do without his help. So therefore, we won't give ourselves credit. We will give him credit. But I asked you today, what is bothering you? Matthew 22 and 14, for many are invited, but few are chosen, or many are called, or few are chosen. Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. So there are some things that God wants you to do. Um, and then we look at what I was saying was what's bothering you. So what are you passionate about? Are you passionate about the homeless? Are you passionate about, uh, you know, people not raising their children well? Um, whatever it is, you need to get out there and help somebody. Um, you know, we look at this world today and everything, you know, and God wants to move through us. God wants us to be a blessing to others. You know, Proverbs 3 and 27, it says, do not withhold good from those whom it is due when it is in your power to act. I mean, what it is, I mean, what is it? Some of you maybe need to go coach. Um, some of you maybe need to, you know, become a lawyer to change some of these laws. Um, you know, some of you may need to go down to the shelter and volunteer. You know, some of you just may need to just, you know, give your neighbor um, something from your house. You know, maybe their children, you know, maybe don't have some shoes or something. And you need to just go buy them a pair of shoes and just say, hey, I just wanted to be a blessing to you. Proverbs 3 and 28, it says, do not say to your neighbor, go and come back. And tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. When you look at verse 26, it says, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. I remember years ago when God used to tell me things, you know, go go speak to this person or go do this. And I wouldn't go do it, you know, and I would miss out uh, blessing somebody. And, you know, God was saying, like, why, you know, why do you think that you can't be used or, you know, you know, I told you to go do that. You should do that. And sometimes, you know, um, you know, I would get another chance to go do that or anything like that. You know, but now, you know, I always try to be, you know, sensitive to the to the spirit, you know, listen to God's still small voice and to go and be a blessing to others. And, you know, even, you know, even at work, when customers come in there and, you know, you know, they tell me their story or their situation or something. And I just be compelled to just give them the words that God gives me, you know, just to try to be that example. So, you know, for Christ. So I just asked you today, you know, saying, why do you feel like God can't use you? Maybe that's why God is wanting to use you because there are so many people that God has called that won't help others. And God is calling you. It don't matter. It's, God's not asking you to do a lot. All God is asking you to do and do a little bit and he'll do the rest. That's why he wants to use you today. So it's definitely for you and me. God bless.